Hello everyone, in this video, let us discuss uh, methods in uh, Groovy. So methods are really important in Groovy and uh, let me just uh, uh, explain you in uh, a very brief and short uh, way. So let us say you have to add two numbers. So of course you can write uh, a simple piece of code for adding two numbers it is not really a rocket science you can uh, maybe let us say declare your first number of course in a variable you can then declare your second variable and then you can perform your calculation so very simple and uh, nothing complicated now this is of course uh, just one line of code or maybe a couple of lines of code similarly let us say you have to perform slightly difficult calculation uh, than adding two numbers so let us say you have to calculate the uh, difference between two dates. Now, when you have to calculate uh, difference between two dates or whenever you're dealing with uh, dates, you have to maybe write uh, a bit more code than just uh, one line because you have to deal with, uh, in most cases, the time zone. You have to deal with uh, whether you want to worry about the hours, minutes or seconds or you just want to focus on days. So there are a lot, lot of things to, to 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 basically worry about when you are basically using date formats. Now, this is all good. But what if you want to perform the same calculation multiple times? So when you add, or add two numbers or maybe when you have to perform this simple calculation, like uh, or maybe a bit more complicated calculation, like uh, difference between two dates, uh, you can uh, write code for it but uh, when you have to uh, do the same thing over and over again then you can define or create a method for it now when you are talking about a method method is basically a way or uh, rather i should say a function that you can uh, create and you define the method and the purpose or the job of that particular method is to perform that sim that that calculation for you whenever you want uh, that that particular method to let us say perform this uh, uh, date calculation or uh, whenever you want to add two numbers or any kind of uh, code that you want to execute over and over again basically you are trying to save your uh, your lines because uh, you just tell that particular method that i want uh, uh, date difference between date one and date two so you are basically telling that met method that you know these are the two dates and give me the difference between these two dates. So basically you pass these two dates as a parameter. So if you're new to programming languages or if you're learning programming language, uh, you'll find this concept of uh, functions or methods in all the programming languages and Groovy is of course no different, uh, but it is important to learn how to define a method because you will be using uh, methods quite a lot so let us see uh, let us let us get our hands dirty and uh, uh, i'll show you how to create a method so let me first uh, get rid of this uh, banner on top so let us say you have to define or let us say you have to perform a simple calculation where you have a number let us say a a is equal to one b is equal to two and if you have to print let us say the sum of a plus uh, B, it is not really, um, I mean, it is not really a complicated uh, calculation, but uh, if we run this particular piece of code, let us uh, run it very quickly. Um, it will, of course, print uh, the sum, which is uh, hopefully on the screen. Yes, so we have the sum, which is three. Nothing complicated and great about it, but uh, what if you want to perform this number over and over and this calculation, this sum over and over again, uh, you can write, uh, you know, a plus b, a plus b, a plus b again. So we can also do something like this, c is equal to a plus b. We can uh, print uh, c instead, which is uh, slightly neat uh, as compared to the previous uh, line. But to define a method uh, so that we can perform this calculation easily, of course, we are doing a very a uh, simple calculation, but it could be anything. It could be any complicated uh, thing that you want to do with your method. So 
the important part here is to understand and learn how to define a method and how to how to basically uh, perform your uh, your calculation so you can define your method with a name so that that name is actually very important like sum to numbers and uh, when you define a method you have to define the parameters in case you are passing something to it in case you need this number to perform calculation based on two numbers like a and b you can pass these uh, as parameters and uh, you can then perform your calculation like c is equal to a plus b and uh, you can uh, do do a return like return the sum which is of course uh, nothing but a simple calculation which is a simple sum but the important part here is to define this particular method with the right uh, variables or parameters that you want uh, it to uh, use and then of course after you execute your uh, your code after you perform the calculation you want it to return something so very simple example uh, but to get it to print or perform this calculation for us we will pass something to it so let us say if i have to add two numbers i'll call this particular method using a name which is something that we just uh, defined like sum two numbers and we can simply pass here one comma two very simple example but uh, uh, instead of writing c is equal to a plus b then uh, printing c we are actually using this uh, method name and uh, if i run this particular piece of code hopefully it will uh, it will run successfully let us wait for it to finish and uh, perform the calculation and uh, basically print the number so you can see here that we have one more three here and that is actually coming from uh, this uh, a function that we are just executing uh, we can also do something like this maybe if you have to perform calculation based on uh, uh, slightly bigger numbers like 100 and uh, maybe 3 or maybe 2 or whatever I mean 350 slightly bigger number so uh, we can validate whether it is working or not so you can go back to your uh, um, you can you can go back to your uh, run uh, so you can basically run this and uh, see that this is working or not so this is now working fine and uh, the important part here is to understand how to define this uh, method because uh, uh, number one the method definition with the right parameters uh, number two perform your calculation or whatever you whatever code that you want to execute execute based on those parameters and number three return that particular if you have to return you don't have to return always but uh, you know since in, the, in this particular case we want it to return something so so understanding how to create a method is very important because it is a very basic and fundamental thing that you will be doing in uh, in groovy and uh, based on uh, the based on the method uh, methods that you will be creating you can actually make your code uh, um, reusable i mean you can you, you can basically you're basically telling this method to perform a calculation for you by passing those variables that is it you're not really writing code again and it will also make your code easy to read so let us say if i'm reading your code and if i read this method name like sum two numbers uh, i will immediately know that you're performing a sum of two numbers so we will also be talking about how to use uh, variable names how to how to basically name your methods and later on we'll also learn how to work with classes and how to name these things uh, is also crucial because it will make uh, it will basically make your code readable and uh, even you if you are reading your code your own written code after like couple of months you will be able to figure out uh, the purpose of this particular code that you wrote a few months ago and if you name it properly like uh, with the right purpose like sum two numbers uh, calculate date difference do this and that you will not need to write uh, extensive documentation so whenever you're writing code uh, if your code is easy to understand it will actually uh, um, help you in um, also kind of documenting uh, the code and the objective of the code what this code is all about so we will continue playing with groovy and uh, and in this particular video series we are actually i mean the whole purpose here is to get 
our hands dirty and learn by solving real world examples if you have been watching my videos i am also creating uh, a lot of videos on jira rest api so of course so this particular mastering groovy series has nothing to do with jira uh, but we will of course be using uh, jira as uh, uh, as an example when we are uh, working with let us say the rest api so i'm creating a lot of videos on jira rest api where i am talking about how to use jira rest api to perform a uh, lot of things programmatically but first we have to understand the the, the, the rest endpoints what all right what, what all not all but what are all common rest endpoints available for us and i'll be of course uh, coding that in groovy so if you're watching this uh, video series uh, uh, of course the focus is only on groovy but in case you also have an interest in uh, learning jira or some of the things that you can do with jira i will be shortly uh, writing code to interact with jira rest api uh, but the concepts will also be applicable to any rest api so let us say if you have any tool um, where you want to basically do something programmatically using rest api in groovy you can uh, follow these uh, videos and it will definitely help you so i'll end uh, i'll probably end this video right here and uh, uh, i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much